Mike Mbovisonko is Friday expected to announce his nominee for the position of Deputy Governor, which fell vacant after the resignation of Polycap Igade. Now, Sonko is at the same time expected to name his new cabinet after making a reshuffle. Our reporter Grace Korea spoke to Sonko's political advisor and compiled the following report, which also explains who among the four women who are on Governor Sonko's list are likely to be the new Deputy Governor. It's now almost a year since the Nairobi deputy governor seat fell vacant following the resignation of Polycap Igathe, and now Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko is convinced that he has made up his mind on who will be his replacement. And if his words while in Mombasa are anything to go by, then he will Friday make the much-anticipated announcement. As at now, the deputy governor is going to come from the four names it fronted. But of course, if something happens in the in between, there will be serious, there will be due communication. The list revealed last year, August, comprises four women, namely Agnes Kagore, Bishop Margaret Wanjiro, Karen Nyamu, and Jane Weru. However, insiders tell KTN News that the most likely candidate among the four to replace Igathe will be Karen Nyamu, who sought to vie for the Nairobi woman representative seat but lost to Rachel Shebesh during the Jubilee nomination exercise in 2017. Yeah, only three people there. Exactly. However, political analysts claim that tomorrow's nominee will most likely not be Governor Sonko's preferred choice. Jubilee as a party will have a lot of impact, a lot of say whom they feel will protect the interests. It is not more about delivery. Because if you ask me, uh, more of those are not, uh, they're, they're simply politicians. So. The governor is also expected Friday to announce major changes in his cabinet. Of course there will be new uh, names to be you know, incorporated into the cabinet and uh, the focus is on competence people can deliver for Nairobians. I want us to understand that the governor is not looking for people who can please him or make him feel good or something like that. The governor is looking for people who understand what Nairobi requires. These people, in my view, have remained are extremely inefficient. They cannot be able to deliver. And that tells you that the county government of Nairobi cannot deliver on its mandate if we go by the number that exists in that particular level. Maybe you might consider lifting the suspensions. For a while now, Governor Sonko's leadership style has been questioned by many, with political analysts claiming he has failed, especially when it comes to implementing policies. Uh, Sonko really needs to think, if at all is able to do that, on his approach in terms of real policy, real management. All eyes are now on the Nairobi County boss as the city dwellers await the big announcement Friday. Grace Kuria KTN News.